Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I've been reading the most wonderful book, new book, Women Who Count, honoring African-American women mathematicians by Shelley M. Jones, a professor up in Connecticut. And this book was inspired by the film and book Hidden Figures, which I totally adored. If you haven't seen it, you've got to see that book. Here's the cover of the book, Women Who Count, published by the American Mathematical Society. And here's the back cover. So this is both a history book and an activity book uh, for grades three to eight students. Um, and so it's a very lovely combination. And I've been showing it. I've been holding it up and handing it to people at the public library where I work. And everybody who I've shown it to has been impressed. Here's the film, Hidden Figures. Uh, you can go see the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer, go read the book. And it's such a wonderful film. Here's the author, Dr. Shelley M. Jones, um, professor of mathematics in Central Connecticut uh, State University. And so she also taught middle school math. And so you can read about her here. And um, she's a member of various professional organizations. Um, very interesting. She contributed to the book, The Brilliance of Black Children in Mathematics. Very interesting. And she's a member of the Alpha, Calpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Here's The Brilliance of Black Children in Mathematics. Please try and track down this book. It looks really good book. Tell people about it. And here is the illustrator of the book. So the book has both photographs and some illustrations. And I'm going to try and pronounce the name of this artist from Connecticut. Veronica Martins is a plastic artist, portraitist, designer, painter, teacher, um, born in Brazil. And I was curious to look up some of her art and check out what I found. So this is a little bit bio about her. And here is a sketch she made of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Isn't she talented? So I found that from the web. I wanted to include it in the book review. Now, given, having given you the like uh, background about this book, um, I thought it might be useful for at this point to tell you, spend just a few minutes talking about Delta Sigma Theta sorority. So this is a sorority of uh, African American college educated women. Uh, that's very distinguished, and it's mentioned in this book, which is the reason I'm bringing it up here. And um, here's their mission. I'm going to be brief on this. Intelligence is the torch of wisdom. Isn't this wonderfully written? And so the sorority has a thousand uh, chapters around the United States, Canada, Japan. Wow, bigger than I thought. Um, and uh, the members of this sorority are involved in uplift of communities. And you can follow them on Twitter. So a beloved mentor of mine, Corliss Viola Grimes, was a member of Delta Sigma Theta, which is how I became knowledgeable about this incredible sorority. OK, now here is the introduction of the book. I wanted to include uh, a section here that you can see. My purpose in making this book review is for you to love the book as much as I do. And then you can also tell other people about the book, just like I'm telling you. Um, so this is like the intro. I wanted to have you have you read that at your own. And um, so what I loved about this book is it has both the historical figures, these very amazing people in history who were firsts in, as African-American women mathematicians and current, current um, brilliant women, who uh, African-American women mathematicians. And um, like flipping between the pages, it's just amazing to read. Um, so this is like, this is taking the hidden figures, the current hidden figures, and making them visible. And isn't that a wonderful thing? So here is um, 
I wanted to show you some of the historical people. This is the very distinguished first African-American woman to earn a PhD in mathematics, um, Martha Euphemia Lofton Hayes. And you can read about her. And uh, Smith College, what a great college. Everybody loves Smith, right? It's one of the best colleges in the country up in Northampton, Massachusetts. Oh, and this is one of the activities in the book. I totally love this. I'm a math enthusiast myself, and I totally love this activity. Check it out how interesting it is. Color all three-sided polygons green. What is the name of a three-sided polygon? Color all parallelograms with no right angles blue. Write the properties of a parallelogram. So this is just so interesting. Um, it, it promotes conversations about shapes. I've, I've been showing this book to people. I showed it to adults and to youth. And we just had lots of conversations based on one page in the book. So this is the kind of excellent materials you'll find in the book. Here is another person. This was so fascinating. So Dr. Gloria F. Gilmer, uh, she is an ethnomathematician, and she coined that term. Is the study of mathematical ideas involved in the cultural practices of people? Wow. Wow, you can read about her here, and I like this part. In an interview, Dr. Gilmer stated, educators often overlook the importance of making emotional connections between students and the subject matter. Her article, Mathematical Patterns in African-American Hairstyles, is an example of how she incorporates this principle. Ain't that great? So now here is Dr. Argelia, Argelia Velez Rodriguez, born in Havana, Cuba. So, and even though she did not suffer racial or gender discrimination in Cuba, um, uh, the country was still experiencing bad times under President Batista. So, and now we're getting to some, some of the more modern, modern people. This is really, really interesting. Born in 1942, um, Dr. Christine Mann Darden. So, um, when Christine was in college, she took part in the civil rights protests and sit-ins. Good for her. Um, in 1962, she received her Bachelor in Science and Mathematics and Teaching from Hampton Institute. Uh, and then I love the fact that she, as a mathematician, she went on to get her doctorate in mechanical engineering. That is so wonderful. I mean, mathematics and engineering are uh, very closely connected. And um, so, isn't that interesting? And this is all current stuff. So these are the modern hidden figures. Look at this very, very talented Dr. Shri W. Taylor. She's the Director of Graduate Studies in Mathematics at George and Statistics at Georgetown University. Um, so, boy. She looks so young and talented and wonderful. This is so great. I love this book. And then here's the references from the book. So it's a well-researched book. And you can go and look up some of these references if, in case you are uh, a graduate student or if you're interested in this field. And this is good. I'm very happy to see that there's an accompanying uh, website that goes with the book in which uh, Shelley M. Jones could be adding material. And um, so, uh, although there's not that much here right now, uh, wouldn't it be interesting for people to nominate folks that they themselves uh, distinguish African-American um, people in the STEM fields? Uh, I happen to know a couple. <laughs> and, um, and I kind of list them here uh, to make it even more people less hidden. Here's Shelly M. Jones on Twitter. Please follow her. Tell people about her uh, book, her work. And the website is womenwhocount.net. Oh, and look at this. Shelly M. Jones with Francis Sue, who is coming out with his own book. Uh, Mathematics for Human Flourishing, 
and he's on Twitter at Math Yawp, W uh, Y A W P, Math Yawp. So this is the two of them together. Isn't that great to see? And here is Francis Sue's uh, little TED Talk or something, Mathematics for Human Flourishing. Go check that out. And here's his book. Just came out a month ago. I haven't read it yet. I can't wait to read it. I think it's on order at the public library where I work, so it'll be coming in any day, I guess, I hope. Uh, early reviews are very, very favorable. And for those who are wondering, this screencast was made using some free software. I use Simple Screen Recorder. I'm doing this on Linux. I have a nice big 4K monitor. I use a mini display port. My webcam is a Logitech. I use GUVC View. It's a little webcam free program. And I'm recording my audio to my Olympus Digital Audio Recorder. And you can see the other video book reviews I've done at sites.google.com slash site slash Phil Shapiro book reviews. You might want to, um, uh, you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested. And that's it. So hope you found this book review interesting or useful. Please tell other people about this excellent book. You might want to buy a copy of the book and place it in a little free library. That would be a gift to both the author, but it would be a gift to your community. It's a double gift. Isn't that sweet?